Hi there, Paul here from House of the Outsiders and thank you for dropping by. Yes, category is black and gold realness. Okay, I was inspired last time by the last page I made, um, which was inspired by a card. I love that idea. <laughs> it, made my, I know it took my creativity in a different direction, liked it. So I thought, okay, let's continue with the theme. So I found a photograph and, to, and I thought, yep, yeah, that's what I'm going to inspire by, the black and the gold. <laughs> it's kind of, the category is, it's, there's a new series of RuPaul's Drag Race ads at the moment, series 10 I think it's on, <laughs> and each week they have a, um, a runway category, category is, and uh, I thought, yeah, I want to do something similar. <laughs> so hence why I have started my page uh, by painting in a cool grey, which is similar to the um, lady's skin in the black and white photograph. And here you see me scribbling and drawing away a little character that I thought I'd add to my page. And I've grabbed my new paints. They're actually um, paint bars from the from Dermot Ink Tents. And I saw um, a video on how to turn these bars into a paint palette, so I went ahead and did it. And I want to go and play, so here I am painting my little lady in blue and gold. And then you'll notice I printed it out twice. So what I did was once I drew it, I scanned it into the computer, printed it out, printed it out twice, uh, so that I could take two of the pieces, the um, funky glasses that she's wearing and her hair, and I thought I would use embossing powder again. And I'd use those in the two colours of black and gold. So I started off with the um, the, the visor, the eyepiece, to give it that glossy look. And, well, I thought gold embossing powder because as good as gold pens are, you really don't get the sense of gold until you've got gold embossing powder. And I have this really nice one by Stan Pendless. Again, I'll write it in the list down below. Uh, took a couple of coats, because I didn't quite manage to get all the powder on the first time round. And once I've done it, I'm not sure if it's got a hint of black in this gold already, but I just wanted to up the effect. So once I... Um, had a nice layer of gold. I stamped it with my Versa, pen, Versa, Versa Mark ink pad again and then sprinkled a little bit of the black on top and reheated it so that we had a little bit of black and gold going on in there too. I don't just love it when you see sort of like <laughs> the best part about bossing is sort of like watching it sort of like melt and merge and turning into its gold or black. <laughs> so once it's all done and dusted and finished, I went back to my original drawn and painted girl and I glued on the two embossed pieces that you see all coming together. Yes, I was always use palms of my hands to stick these down and get very sticky, gooey hands. <laughs> and before I cut it out, I like to outline my figures. Do it in a finished pen first of all, and then I go around again and fill out a much thicker line. And Although I'd say that this particular character is not a difficult one to cut out, I find that if I do this on everything, when it comes to trimming out, it just gets rid of all that fussy cutting. <laughs> Plus, I like a nice thick border around a character. It kind of reminds me of sticker art and kind of street art and the way they outline their images, so I kind of 
love the influence of that. As usual, my final little bit before I cut the uh, images out is to take some coloured pencils. In this case, it's the Papa Castell Polychromos and add just a tiny bit of shading to it, just to go a little bit more oomph. Um, now, because it's black and gold, and I was getting to <laughs> this stage that's like blue, grey, gold at the moment, I added a little bit more gold to her neck, just dotted it, and just doodling, giving it its weirdness. <laughs> and, yeah, thought, well, that's it, finished. there's no more I'm going to be doing to that character, so stuck it into my book. And here we go, starting to add more black. <laughs> By beginning with a, a black border, I thought I would just ink a, a thickish line around it. For the next bit, I've gone back to the picture, photograph inspiration, and all those viney, um, tattooed, tree-like designs that she's got cascading from her face down her neck, I thought I would draw that down my page. Turns out it's a very easy doodle to do. You just draw a bunch of wavy lines um, and then you start adding smaller and smaller lines as you go down. Now I think <laughs> when I sort of uh, took the video that I needed editing, I think it took me about an hour to uh, do all those. <laughs> it was very nice to do. I mean, I, I got lost in time. I hadn't realised it even took me an hour to do. But I've edited the video so you don't have to watch in real time me do that for a whole hour. But I have to admit, once I did it, you never know what the effect's going to be like, but once I did it, looking at it here and now, I brilliant. Loved it. <laughs> the, that, the, the effect of that black vine around the uh, image. I said, pretty impressed. Now, got me but gold Posca pen and dotted around the black because I was thinking about adding gold to the vines. I thought, no, the vines look so good on their own. I didn't really want to add anything on top. Um, but I thought I could outline my figure, add a little bit more gold in there. So that's what I am doing right now. Um, now for the journaling, um, I didn't really want to. And put too much over what I'd already done. So I liked the the effect of it. However, I found this stamp. I think it's an old Heidi Swap stamp. It's discontinued. It's called Fabulous. What a surprise! <laughs> so uh, I made I got some copy paper, painted it black, then took my Versa marking pad. I said it right this time, and I inked it up. And I did think about whether to use one of those anti-static sponges over the top to for the for the embossing I thought no I like it when it's looking a little bit there's a few specks of gold sort of like that shouldn't be they're just speckling it so I thought no, I'll, I'll leave it and uh, let some of some of the static hold the gold and here we go that lovely bit where you're watching the gold be embossed <laughs> And dead easy, just cut out a square. No fussy cutting involved here. I just like, you know, bold graphic shapes. And I keep saying that, I know, but you know, that is what I, how my mind goes when I think of, think of what should go on the page. That's sort of like instinct things. Sort of like, yeah, put a big, big sort of like square, bold black design over the top. And I took a different kind of metallic pen this time to outline because I finally found it. <laughs> um, and here we are gluing it on. And that is my finished page. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.